it is butterfly feeding time and here I have some female giant Shiraxes, Shiraxes castor and they've been laying some eggs today they've been in a nice hot car with the right temperature and pressure and look at all those lovely eggs in there so they're laying on the pod mahogany which is called Afzelia consensus and you can see they are very hungry and so we're going to be feeding them a um, honey solution and let's see how we do that So here is our first female and here I have this honey solution which is just on a bit of um, tissue paper and I have a pin here and I'm very gently, I'm holding the butterfly with my left hand you know the, the veins on the front wing where it's strong and I'm very gently going to use a pin to uncoil its, um, its proboscis and just put it on the damp tissue paper and there we go that first one's feeding. I'm going to do the same to its friend. There we go. And I'll get one more. The last one feeding over here. They've been doing this for several days, so they very well behaved. On the first day, it takes a lot longer to convince them to start drinking, but now they know the procedure and they um, start drinking very happily. Now we're going to leave them feeding and um, have a look at the eggs that they've laid. So I'm just going to be removing these eggs one by one and putting them in a container, which the container is labeled with the um, species, the Shiraxis castor and the brood number. This is my brood 115. Other types of eggs you can't, you can't move them safely. Um, eggs which are uh, cylindrical shape are often difficult to move, but these round ones are quite, um, quite safe to move and just makes it more convenient. I'm going to be counting how many they've laid. So I'm on three and I'm going to go through all of these eggs and put them in the container and count. So now I've removed those eggs and we've got 65 eggs for today which is really amazing. And now the next step, you can see there's a whole lot of liquid in the bottom of this container just from, um, from the leaves and also some excretion from the butterflies themselves. You don't want to leave that there otherwise you'll get all sorts of fungal, fungal diseases growing and your butterflies will be very unhealthy. And so I'm just going to clean it out with some tissue paper and get the get the laying container roughly roughly clean and then I'm just gonna put the put the leaves back so every few days I'll be changing these but for now the leaves are still fresh and they still have the smell of this um, bright larval food plant which is which is what we need you'll see some leaves might be a bit damp as well I'll just give those a give those a wipe too and then our butterflies have had a good had a good feed and so I'm just going to gently pick them off and put them back in their back in their container to, to lay eggs tomorrow and that is our feeding of the three Shiraxes castle and oh yes, the last step I almost forgot to show you is I need to fill in my breeding book and here I've just put the date and I've written Shiraxi's castor 65 eggs laid and I will probably put a nice big smiley face next to that I'm very happy about that Breeding, an essential thing is keeping records of exactly what exactly what is happening